people are going to ask you these questions of what? What do I like to do? What's my favorite subject? But once you start asking yourself why, why do I like the things that I like? It changes the game. Students have the opportunity to listen to these speakers and figure out what they like to do and why they want to do it. If you walk away with one thing today, I want you to know that it's okay to try things and not like them. I'm not here to tell you how I figured it out. I'm here to tell you that I am actively figuring it out and that I've been doing that ever since I was in your seat 11 years ago. First we heard from Victor Saituni, who is a recent graduate who taught us how there's so many different ways you can go about learning how, what you want to do and not everything is a clear path. You have to choose a direction, whether that's based on an interest, an opportunity, or simply curiosity. Just jump right in and commit, but committing doesn't mean you can't go back and change your route. Louise Franco told us that like she didn't know her path in the beginning and she had like a lot of twists and turns and she wanted to give up in the beginning but she kept on going and now she's soon to be an architect. Uh, we then broke up in the classrooms and we talked about our different ideas and uh, how we feel about uh, what careers we're going to do and um, we elaborated on what they spoke about in the auditorium. And we had two sessions. First one is finding our reason and our path. And now our second one is taking a quiz to help us see what we're interested in. I learned that it's okay to not know your path yet and life is going to be a series of windy roads and you just have to navigate through it. You could always go back if you need to. Today's program made me realize what I might want to do. I think today's program was impactful because I think it's important to find your interests and what you want to do in life. 